What's up everybody, I'm Ethan Lee, also known as Watch a Syndicate. Today is the pre-release weekend for Caltime, the up the newest set. Uh, and since I went and picked up my kits, I figured I'd crack a couple packs and a couple promo packs as well. So we've got seven regular booster packs of the Japanese variety, English language, but uh, Japanese printer because these are these loose booster packs with the little pull tab up in this corner. Also, seven promo packs. We will start off with the, uh, let's start off with the promo pack so we can, actually, nah, let's start off with these. All right. Caltime is the first set since I got really into magic that I haven't kept up with spoilers as much as I typically do. So some of these cards will be a surprise for me. Some of these won't. I see Manolith as our token. Wait, what makes these? Oh, the one commander makes these. I was confused. I uh, The other artifact in the set is Replicating Ring. And it's also a snow artifact that can tap for one man of any color, I believe. Awesome. Starting off with our basic uh, snow land or dual land is Highland Forest, which is the Gruul snow land. Mystic Reflection. Yo, this is one of the few cards I actually did look forward to possibly getting. This is incredibly fun and um, versatile. You could either duplicate your own stuff as a special trick or just make it so that your opponent's big play just becomes entirely nullified. Spirit of the Elder Guard. Let me sort these areas out. Uh, we'll put the rares up there. Spirit of the Outer Guard. A e, Showcase frame Agar, the Freezing Flame. Giant Tribal seems really fun. I hope I'll be able to build a purely giant tribal deck. Divine Gambit. That seems good, but also kind of bad. Breakneck Berserker. Bind the Monster. Good old blue... Oh, that's interesting. This one does tap it, but also you get pinged. You get uh, dealt damage equal to its power. So, for one mana, it's alright, I guess. Mistwalker. This is another card that I was really looking forward to build around in Limited because it is a 3 mana 1 4 flyer, but it also has Changeling, so it can really fit into any tribal deck. Skull Raid. Broken Wings. Good ol'. And Village Rites, great black spell. Invoke the Divine, another okay sideboard card. Immerstern Raider, Code Spell Cleric. I don't like the Orzov second spell theme in this set. I think it's kind of bad, not, uh, not gonna lie. All right, first pack being done. I'll separate this out. So we'll have the commons uncommons and then land and tokens down here and then i will keep track of our rares mythics and then showcase frames if we end up getting any mythics which i hope we do but also i wouldn't entirely be upset if we got zero uh okay so add card doesn't go in the token slot because i actually do use tokens but ads aren't tokens and that makes me sad Snow, cover, snow Covered Island, the probably the most expensive, but still really cheap. Arnie Broken Bow. Bro. Brow. Whoa, that took me way too long. Arnie Broken Brow. Ooh. That boast ability seems pretty fun. Three mana, three, three with haste. And you can also pump him to the greatest power plus one you have. Another friend, uh, Frenzied Raider, Rune of Sustenance. Ru These runes are pr an interesting design space, but I don't know how I feel about them. A, Double Rune. Iron Verdict. Mist of Litjara. Squash. Scorn Effigy. Zero Mana Fortel. That seems like, that, that seems fun. Elder Fang Disciple. Elder Leaf Mentor. I also would not mind building an elf tribal deck for pre-release. It seems like it'd be pretty all right, too. Code Spell Cleric. 
Raven form. Here is the big controversy of the set. I still think I like the flavor of it, but I do agree. I think this should have been white. Vault Robber and Master Scald. All right, pack number three. Still no Mythics. Starting off with Angel Warrior. Those colors are really nice. I love the variations in hue and the wings. Another Highland Forest. All right. Ooh. The uh, last deck I really want to build for pre-release is green-blue shapeshifters. But the Bears of Lit Yara, um, our first uh, saga and our first rare saga. This is quite powerful for three mana, I'd say. It's in a pretty nice addition to my collection. Draugr Helm... Frostpire Arcanist, Binding of the Old Gods, another um, saga. This is, the art on this saga is really amazing because of the fact that this isn't a painting or a digital painting. This is actually carved on wood. I believe it was auctioned off and I think it went for a pretty large amount. Frostbite, which is, I originally misread it and I thought it was insane and then I reread it and realized it was okay. But now thinking back on it, I still think it's extremely good. It's still just a shock that can deal two to creatures or planeswalkers, no players. And uh, if you somehow have three, it becomes uh, quite good. Draugr Thought Thief. Good old Fate Seal. Sculptor of Winter. Untapped Stargate Snowland. Undersea Invader. Draugr Recruiter. Another Broken Wings. Emerstern Raider. God's Hall Guardian. A null for a good old counterspell, but conditional and kind of all right. It's this is uh, definitely a sideboard card, especially in a set like Cal Time. Run a mock, and that's it. So far, zero for three on Mythics. Are we really gonna go through all seven packs without a single Mythic? For our token, our very first flip card. I'll be needing quite a few of these. Snow-Covered Plains. Magda, Brazen Outlaw. Other dwarves you control get plus one plus zero. I think we're getting some weird dwarf theme here, especially with the uh, Gruul lands and all of that. All right. Doomscar Titan. Elven Bow. Replicating Ring. This is the ring I was talking about. The reason the name changes from Replicating Ring to Replicated Ring is because if it had the same name, it would also have the duplication text. So after eight turns, you would get eight rings, and if it was the same name, after eight more turns, you'd get 64 rings. But unfortunately, that's not what it happened. That's not what it does, and it's a little bummer, but I'm sure they tested it out, and I guess they're more qualified than I am. Frostbeak Yeti, Breakneck Berserker, Lajara Kinseekers, Elderleaf Mentor, Priest of the Haunted Edge, Horizon Seeker, Wings of the Cosmos, Axe Guard Cavalry, Dusk Wielder, Gold Maw Champion. The Japanese packs, because they're so loose, we can also tell by the saturation how silky, like smooth the cards feel themselves. Like they they slide really nicely. And I also just realized we have zero foils so far. Um, another flip card. Snow-Covered Mountain. Crippling Fear. This is kind of like the opposite of that... Um, I don't remember what the spell is called. But in Eldraine, there's a spell that's similar to this, where you choose a creature type, and all creatures of that type get minus three, minus three. And this is the opposite. So that's pretty nice. Blood Sky Berserker. Ooh. Carter's Vicious Return. I love that art. This set is so freaking metal and I love it. Ports of Carfell. Pilfering Hawk. Bound in Gold. Berg Strider. Infernal Pet. Masked Vandal. Dread Rider. Ravenous Lindworm. I love my I love the worms. Warhorn Warhorn Blast. Shackles of Treachery. This is a really, really cheap um, gain control target creature spell. I 
I keep rating it higher than it probably should be, but I still think this is really strong. And Axe Card Bragger. It's got a big rock and it's got line. It's got writing on the rocks. All right, two more packs left. No foils, no mythics. Only one showcase. This is such a sad, sad opening. All right, starting off with a treasure token. Snow-covered plains. What's it going to be? Her Herald unites the elves. That art looks so incredible. Glimpse the Cosmos, Colossal Plow, this, it seems unplayable, but like, it's, it's so, it's pretty funny. Ascent of the Worthy, uh, Orzov got screwed over in the set. Demon Bolt, perfectly playable, especially with Fortel, I'm looking forward to drafting this sometime. Augury Raven, also perfectly playable, 3-3 three, three for 4, or 3-3 three, three for 2 plus 2. Flyer, great. Grim Draugr, Undersea Invader, Jarl the Forsaken, Mammoth Growth, Shimmer Drift Veil, vale, Snowland, basically a snow evolving wilds. Hey, another Raven form. Open the Omen Paths, Valor of the Worthy. All right, and this is our very last pack for regular packs. So oh, sorry about that. Bump the camera. Is it going to be lucky? It must be because when I ripped it, the, it ripped all the way to the side and didn't come off. All right, we got a bird. Glacial Floodplain. We're starting off with a strong sense of blue-white. Can we get a blue-white mythic? The Planeswalker, maybe? Nope. Old Growth Troll. Skemfar, Shadow Sage, Forging the Tyrite Sword, Rune of Speed. This kind, this rune kind of sucks. At least, well, it's not as bad as the Black Rune. I still think the Black Rune is probably the worst one. Mist of Litjara, Breakneck Berserker, Run off run Ashore, Snake Skin Veil, Demonic Gifts, Wings of the Cosmos, Glimmering Frost, Invoke the Divine, Cinderheart Giant, and a good old Revitalize. All right, well... That was the pack openings, and give me a second to organize this. All right, and now we're back with these uh, promo packs. Each promo pack has four cards and one arena code, which I'll probably sell on eBay. Uh, it has, I believe, a basic land, or they might have changed that. Uh, one stamped rare from the set, one special common or uncommon bomb card in an alternate frame, and a card from a curated set of cards, which maybe I'll get something useful for the cube, for one of my cubes. Alright, we got our arena code. How many cards are here? Oh, just three? Okay. All right. Starting off with Cinderglade. Bruh. Uh, there's a couple of these um, dual lands I need from Battle for Zendikar, but not Cinderglade. I've ha I have like eight or nine of these. I don't need these. Poison the Cup. Destroy target creature. If you foretell, scry two. Perfectly great removal. Tundra Fumeral. Okay, well that's a unique spell, so that unique rare from the set, which means it will happily go in the cube. So far, there hasn't been that many, um, there hasn't been any rare duplicates so far, and I would, I hope the rest of these packs go the same way. Because I would love to not have any dupes. Alright, starting off, Niv-Mizzet Perun, another card I can't use. Frostbite, and... Graven Lore, still going strong with zero duplicates. Can we make it through all seven packs? That's a good question. We'll find out. Some of these packs open nicely, some of these don't, and that makes me annoyed. Thousand Year Storm. Oh, okay, this is one of the mythics from Ravnica Legions that I actually do need. So I will put uh, cards I don't need here. I'll put the codes up here. And then these are the cards I do need. 
That's what I'm here. Masked Vandal and Search for Glory. Lovely, lovely cards. All right, so far still zero duplicates of rares or mythics and also still zero mythics. All right, Dragon Tempest. Yes, another card I need for one of my cubes, Dragon of Tarkir. Another Poison the Cup. I think we now have all the Poison the Cups we need. Saruf, Sarof. Sarof? Yeah, Sarof, Realm Eater. Oh, that's a pretty cool rare. Oh, we got sorry. All right, starting off, Helm of the Host. While I don't need one of these, I will happily take it because it is one quite expensive, and two, I want one for an actual deck. One of the few things I do want for decks. Usher the Fallen. Oh, that's a that's quite nice. Crippling Fear. Okay, we broke the streak. That is the first card. Uh, first rare or mythic in cow time that we do not need because we have one already All right onward. Oop, there's the code Canopy Vista another one of those lands I don't need frostbite We don't need these anymore and search of greatness, which is something we do need I will probably have to go through and sort out everything I don't need and maybe give them away or sell them to my friends. Which, I mean, isn't that bad, but also I'd rather not, like... It, it's just so much more work than I have to do. I might as... I'd rather just get lucky and get cards I do need and not have to deal with any other hassle. But isn't that what we all wish? Last one. Smoldering Marsh. I think I actually do need this one. Mask Vandal, and what is it going to be? Ma uh, Mask with Nexus. That is such a fun card, and I do want one because I need one for the cube, but I also would love to uh, put one in one of my decks, actually. And with that being said, that's everything for this little video. I'll probably make another video uh, soon with uh, cracking open a pre-release kit and building a deck but that will be some other time i believe or i will just record it right now because why not all right with that being said that's everything for this uh not short video this is actually quite long but hope you enjoyed uh, here's our first look at cow time here are all those packs i cracked it's a mess i gotta clean this up and i will see you in the next video